How's it going? Knocked over a few jobs in the aquaponics setup, so I thought I'd give you a quick little look. It's not update time, but I'll probably give you a look anyway. Well, I've done a bit of work on the lid. I've actually got one of those um, patio or bagola uh, hooks, plant hooks. It goes over the rafters in your bagola patio, and you hang a plant off the bottom of it. I'm using that to hold up the roof here. I've got a chain attached to the roof or the lid so I can raise it and lower it to let different amounts of sunlight through for the perch. Um, as you can see, I've also lined underneath it with some weed mat just to knock out some of the sun. It's still got the shade cloth on the top, the 90%, but we just found that the fish were starting to get skittish again once we just had the um, shade cloth on. Just not used to the amount of light getting in. The way I've attached it is basically just in there with the shade cloth. This is fly screen flat, oh well actually screen door frame. So it's just in there with a bit of a rubber cord holding it all in place. So that should do the trick nicely I think. In the tank itself, hello fishies. I managed to hook up the Venturi. It's just a basic one. Um, I actually pinched the idea from the Backyard Aquaponics Forum. Um, one of the guys there from the actual site itself um, put a photo of this up and it's really easy. We have a one inch line coming in. Raise the roof a bit. We have a one inch line coming in there. Uh, this is down to a three quarter inch line and as you can see there's a hole drilled in it and then it's expanded out to a one inch. So I'll just turn the air compressor off and I'll show you how much air is coming through. Well that's the amount of air we're getting coming through and it's just really really simple just such a small little easy build just a hole in a little bit of pipe and we've got an increased amount of aeration in the water uh, as you can see a little bit of water comes out that hole every now and then but hey we're still getting an airflow so anything I, I pretty much will consider it free air so anything that's free is uh, good for the fish as far as I'm concerned there's not too much strain placed on the pump as it's only going from one inch down to three quarters and it's only a 2800 litre an hour pump so I probably could have plumbed the whole thing in three quarter inch and it wouldn't have really mattered so well, I'm happy with that so I'll just turn the compressor back on actually while we're talking compressor um, I have a new I'll turn them back on you can see down there there's two little balls um, I have bought a new compressor the last one if you follow our walk around clips you'll probably remember was on the ground here, someone turned the power off and water siphoned back down the air hose and stuffed the compressor or one of the ports. So I have put the new one on, um, turned it on in a tick. The air stones are down the bottom there, they're actually suspended, they're not sitting on the bottom. I found they vibrated, so try and take the vibration out of the tank. Just under there, hooped up here into this 19 millimeter irrigation pipe. This is actually the irrigation pipe from the barrel ponic setup. So getting to reuse it again and the two pipes fit in there nicely and that just goes up there to a 19 mil elbow zip tied of course onto the batten over here to another 90 degree zip tied again and then down here and through another 90 degree that's sealed with a grommet into my new backup and air compressor cabinet so just a little cabinet we picked up on curbside cleanaway I'm just going to use it for the backup system, the air compressor, and maybe the electronics. I'll speak to the Sparky when it comes out. And um, yeah, it was it was free, can't argue. It's an old drying cabinet. There was a fan and a heating system in the bottom and there was rails inside. So, can't really complain for free. So in here, those air lines just come through and straight into the compressor, which I'll just plug back in again. There's not much vibration or sound to the cabinet, so... And this cabinet itself I'm going to use just to house bits and pieces from the aquaponics. As you can see, I've put a couple of little pitcher hooks up in there just for the fishnet. Um, sea sole, which we use in there, it's a seaweed um, fertiliser. We use that in the grow beds just for trace nutrients. And we've got zip ties, just the emergency zip ties for when you need them. Some fish food, the fish are off the feed just for the next couple of days, just to monitor nutrients levels, but keep the fish food in there and other bits and pieces. The power cord just comes up down through the ground here. Let's lift him up and we've got a base plate in there that's screwed in just so no rodents or reptiles get in there and decide to make a nest so nice and secure. And the power cord goes just along the back there under the gravel. I've put a protective pipe over the top of it, a little sheath so the rocks don't damage the cord and then it goes under there 
and into the master box. So that's got the pump and the float power cord in there. So we made the float switch power cord. So that may end up in here yet to see what happens. My idea is to have this shelf here for a car battery to run the backup air system and the backup air pump will sit up the top mainly so if we do have a failure again no water will go back down the airlines and stuff the pump so that's the idea i've actually got a couple of bits of angle line here i've bolted the cabinet to it and the angle line themselves are actually bolted to this um landscaping lumber or timber or sleeper um 40 mil coach bolts two on each bit of angle line and that's just straight into there so this thing is pretty much all it's not going anywhere hey so that's pretty much all the little jobbies I've been doing this weekend so I'll do a proper update in a couple of weeks time there's no real growth or any issues in the um, grow beds or with the fish to report so that's pretty much all it any comments questions suggestions drop them in the comment section below and have a good one catch ya